I'm Michelle Ashira Silva, a second year nursing student at IIHS Balisa. So the topic of our research is contributing factors and impact on social media addiction towards depression among teenagers. Social media involve digital platform and interactive participation. For the past 10 years, social media has become a prominent component of youth life, which leads to many mental health issues. Depression is a common mental disorder affecting more than 260 million people worldwide. It is characterized by persistent sadness and a lack of interest or pleasure in previously rewarding or enjoyable activities. It can also disturb sleep and appetite. Tiredness and poor concentration are common. Depression is a leading cause of disability around the world and contributes greatly to the global burden of disease. The relation between social media and mental health remains nonetheless unclear. Social media use has shown a strong association with mental health. However, a study aimed to determine the impact or the contributing factors on social media addiction towards depression among adolescents between 13 to 17 years. A quantitative study was conducted among 200 school children aged 13 to 17 in Gampaha district using self-administered questionnaire validated by pre-test, including the depression scale. Convenience sampling technique was used and the data was analyzed using statistical package for social science version and the findings were presented in a descriptive and inferential manner. Depression level was measured by mood and feeling score range from zero to 26. Scoring a 12 or higher indicate the presence of depression of the respondent. It was found that one fourth of the sample have depression. Highest of the sample have respondent on the internet addiction as negative impact and minority of the sample respondent on suicide self-harm content. It was found that there is no association between personal factors and depression and between social media factors and depression. There is a relationship between self-knowledge the student is having mental or health problem and depression and between usage of social media and depression. Among students whom categorized as having depression, highest mentioned that they do not have mental or health problem and majority mentioned that they use social media more than 15 times a week. As conclusion, I would like to say, since social media will remain an important facet of children's life, a better understanding of, of the mechanism of its relationship with depression could be beneficial to increase exposure to mental health interventions and to promote the well-being of them and their family. Thank you.